So most people think that I chose to homeschool because I want to shelter my kid. Instead, I chose to homeschool because I saw how customizable it is and how we can go on field trips without dealing with all the hassle of going on a field trip, like in the public school system. We set our own hours. You know, it's kind of like being an entrepreneur, but you're educating your kids. We set our own hours. We follow our own interests. I get to choose which curriculum we use and rather being assigned a curriculum to use with my students or my kids. So I just love how customizable homeschooling is and how we can just create our lifestyle, our desired lifestyle around homeschooling. And besides having the ability to customize our homeschooling experience, what I also really enjoy is that we can focus on like what my kids are into. So like I, I've said this before, like in past years, we spent a very, very long time studying about sharks. Uh, before that was about ancient Greece and ancient Egypt. And now we're studying about the US and it's instead of the traditional uh, you know, cover the subject within one year. We're on year two, probably going to go into year three next year. So I just love that we can just explore my kids' interests. And on top of that, like my kids, my, my oldest son loves art. And this year he's taking three art classes. Like if he were in a traditional school, he would not be able to take three art classes. One, if he's lucky, you know, explore your kids' interests. And then also like my daughter, she does horseback riding and yeah like I know a lot of people who whose kids do horseback riding after school I kind of like the idea of being able to do it within school like within the school hours or during the day uh, and not have to do all these all this stuff after school you know and my kids don't have homework I always hated homework I know there's people out there that are like no homework is good for you but why are we sending our kids spend, why are they spending you know, six to eight hours at school, yet they come home with like hours and hours of homework that they still need to do. And most of the time it's work that they didn't get to finish in class because of all the disruptions and all the transitions and, and what have you, it's hard to like actually teach. Like if you're lucky, you get like a good 10 minutes of actual learning happening, maybe 10 minutes of actual teaching, 10 minutes of actual learning, and then the rest for each subject. And then the rest of the time is just disruptions and you know transitions and on the topic of homework like i've always felt that homework was kind of busy work like when i even when i was a teacher i didn't really have my kids do homework like their homework was to review their notes or their work that, that they did in class like i understand homework for math i understand that and then even for like reading or writing like i understand that because you know you don't have time to read in class so you're going to read at home or even write at home. I'm just, I've never been a big fan of homework. Um, I guess maybe when you get to like high school and college, like it's necessary, because usually you're just listening, hearing the lectures, and then you go and apply it. You know, I've noticed like a lot of changes in schools where they're doing, they're kind of flipping the script and they're like having the learning done at home and then applying or having like the lectures or like the reading or whatever done at home and then applying it actually at school where they actually can get help. I know there's so many different ways to um, educate your kids in the public school system. I don't know, I just like being able to do it at home. I like being able to customize it. I like having the ease. It eases my life. We don't have to stick to someone else's schedule. And then another thing that I love about homeschooling is that we can go on field trips whenever we want. Like in the past, when I was a teacher, coordinating and planning field trips was a major hassle for one you needed to have enough funds because the busing is expensive and then you need to make sure the bus drivers are even available and then you need to be able to secure the the funds and the the dates for the field trip you want to take and then you got to get permission oh and then you have to do the lunch lady used to always get so mad at me because she always wanted me to do this first but and you also have to submit like the lunch order and if you don't do that yeah that's <laughs> I, I probably made enemies with the lunch lady um, <laughs> back when I was teaching. There's probably a reason why she didn't give me fried chicken and she give everyone else fried chicken. But I love how like with homeschooling, we can go anytime. On top of that, like if we're studying like a topic, like mind you, it happened a couple of years, a couple of years ago, we studied about the California gold rush and the plan was to go visit the sites, but we had some drama that happened that um, we weren't able to do that because my husband got into an accident. So anyways, um, fast forward to just a couple months ago and we were able to go finally go on that road trip. 
to visit like all the different sites where gold was found and like where all the diggings were. And it was just so fun to be able to experience it. My kids even got to like pan for gold. And it's just, yeah, it's just, it's fun to be able to do things, to, to be able to take what you've learned and like see it live in action or just see like where it happened. It just makes it come so much more alive. So I just love, 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 love that we can just go on field trips whenever we want. And then also kind of breaks things up. Like we go on field trips quite often here. Like we'll just go local places around our area. And it's just, it's a nice break from like our everyday, our daily work that we do and the classes that we do. And yeah, I just, I just really love field trips. Like that's probably one of the main reasons why I'm homeschooling is because of field trips. That and then not having to abide by anyone's hours because anyone that knew me when I was teaching, like I had a very hard time getting up and getting to school at seven in the morning. <laughs> Can only imagine kids, jeez. And another thing that's great about homeschooling is personalized education or personalized like attention. Like you, my kids actually get the attention that they deserve. Teachers aren't able to give each student the attention that they deserve to help them along, to answer questions, et cetera. Especially like, you know, you have 30 some students and then of those students, you know, you have a variety of personalities. You have ones that are very loud and attention seeking and you have others that are very quiet. And then you have others that, you know, are very disruptive <laughs> and don't want to be there. And so it's just, it's hard to give all the kids the attention that they deserve. And especially like in middle school and high school, they have, they're going to multiple classes and they're spending very little time with their teachers. And so with homeschooling, my kids get a lot of time with me, maybe too much time, but you know, I'm enjoying it because eventually they're gonna grow up and they're gonna leave the house. And so, yeah, like just that personalized attention. I think they really benefit from that. My oldest, is he's quiet. I, I know, cause I was the same way in, in school, like the quiet ones kind of get glanced over. <laughs> you know, ignored. And then my middle child, he has attention issues. And so I know he, if he were in school, he, we'd have a lot of phone calls home. And then my youngest, she's, you know, she's very adaptable, but she has big emotions. I think homeschooling is best for us. And I really love that we're doing it. I also want to talk about efficiency in homeschooling because we are very efficient. Like we can get done with our homeschool, depending on the day, one to three hours, we're done. Then my kids are up able to go explore and do their own things on their own, or they go to classes, what have you. So it's very efficient. You know, we're not wasting time. Yeah, it's not smooth. Like we're not like learning those full three hours, but within those three hours, my kids are getting a lot of work done. They don't have homework afterwards. It's not like they have to come home and do extra work, or I'm not gonna give them extra work on top of what they're already doing so they can make the six to eight hours of school that they would have if they went to like a traditional school. But even then, like I said before, traditional schools, you, they may be there for six to eight hours, but maybe if they're lucky, two hours of that is actual learning. So yeah, I think we're doing well and be able to get one to three hours of work done each day and you know, be very efficient about it. All right, our fridge is currently broken and we're, I ordered a new one, but it's not coming for three more days. So we're living out of coolers right now. But luckily we have all these coolers from camping and everything, so I'm thankful for that. So I wanna talk about lifestyle when it comes to homeschooling. Um, I probably mentioned it, I've mentioned it so many times. It's flexible. Homeschooling allows you to have a very flexible schedule and we can just roll with the punches and we don't have to get homeschooling done in the morning because that's just not what we wanna do. My son sleeps until late and my kids like to have a little bit of free time in the morning and so do I. I want some time for myself as well. And I'm not the type to, to wake up at five in the morning before my kids wake up to get that time alone. I just do it when they're awake because that's just life, right? And thankfully they know how to give me space. And so I just love the flexible nature of homeschooling. It fits my personality. It fits my kids' personality. It fits our lifestyle. It allows me to start a business, a coaching business. And if you're new here, I'm Suen, and I'm a mindful living coach and a homeschool mentor. And I share all things about, you know, intentional living here on YouTube as well as on my Substack. And so what I also like with the flexible schedule, I love not having rushed 
mornings. And so early on in our homeschooling journey, like I, like my oldest son, he went to preschool one year and then I pulled him out the second year of preschool. And then I put him back into kindergarten. And I just remembered the mornings were just like chaotic and we're rushing, even if I try to prepare the night before with like a five-year-old and then a baby at the time and trying to get all of us out the door and everyone always had to go to the bathroom right before we had to leave. And even when I try to add margin into our, our times, it's just always so hard to get anywhere on time. It was just a mad rush. And I just didn't like to start our days that way, our mornings that way. I'm so happy that I don't have to deal with that. I'm so happy that our mornings most of our mornings are like lazy mornings. Yes, yeah, sometimes, like on Wednesdays, we have to be at my daughter's horseback riding class like at nine in the morning and it's like half an hour away. So yeah, we gotta wake up then early and get there. But that's just like one day a week, you know? That's just one day a week and that's it. And so I feel like homeschooling offers us a more balanced way of living. And I know it's not something that everyone can do. You know, I know a lot of people don't wanna homeschool their kids. They don't have the capacity to do it. They don't have the time to do it. They can't afford to do it. I understand that. But I also know I do have a lot of friends that do work full time. Some of them are teachers and they still homeschool their kids. They just don't do it during school hours. So homeschooling may happen in the evenings or they may happen on the weekends. And so, you know, it's possible to homeschool your kids, even if you have to still work full-time or even part-time. But I just love the lifestyle that it brings us. Our lives are very gentle. <laughs> They're not rushed. They're not filled with to-do lists and pack schedules or anything like that. Yeah, we're doing a little bit more this year than we were last year, but it's, it's still not that busy for us. It's still, we still have a lot of white space. We still have a lot of margin. And I really, I really enjoy that lifestyle. So I guess the main takeaway is that homeschooling is a very unique journey. And we all have different reasons for why we homeschool. And we shouldn't assume the reason why someone else is homeschooling is the same as ours because they have different life experiences than us. They have different, you know, circumstances. I just wanted to share a little bit about why I chose to homeschool. And I hope you really found value in this video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment down below. <laughs> if you are looking for ways to slow down and live a more joyful and mindful life, I'm here for you. I do have like a handful of openings for my one-on-one -on -one coaching if that's your thing. Or if you want homeschool mentoring, I do have like two openings for that this fall. So I'll leave a link down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.